Here on YouTube there are lots of videos that apparently proves that Microsoft copied OS X when they made Vista. I made this video to provide some deeper insight to those accusations. When Windows Vista was released in January 2007, hordes of Mac users cried out that Microsoft had copied features from Apple's OS X. Let's take a closer look, shall we? First out is the dashboard. The dashboard is an OS X feature that first came out in OS 10.4, also known as Tiger. Tiger was released April 29, 2005. Dashboard has a lot of small programs, called widgets. It can show you the weather forecast, a clock, your calendar, stocks and lots of different stuff. A pretty nice feature, and I use it a lot. If we go back in history, we'll find a few programs that are very similar. One of them is a program called Confabulator, later known as Yahoo Widgets. The first version of this software was released February 10, 2003. It was for Mac OS X only, and cost about $25. A version for Windows was released November 8, 2004. July 25, 2005 it became freeware, after Confabulator was bought by Yahoo. Some people claim that Confabulator was based on desk accessory in the OS for the Macintosh that came out in 1984. That might be stretching it a bit, if you ask me. However, the creator of Confabulator, Arlo Rose, says that the idea of Confabulator originated in 1998, when he saw how he could skin the MP3 media player running on his computer. His idea was to skin any information you wanted to see on your desktop. And so the project started. If we move a little further back in history, you will find a piece of software called Desktop X. It was a Windows-only software, and it was originally called Verona Desktop Enhancer. First release was in 1999. Verona Desktop Enhancer was bought by a company called Stardock in 2000, and in August 2000 the first beta of Desktop X came out. Version 1.0 was released in June 2001, and in April 2002, version 1.1 was released. October 2003, version 2.0 came out, and the pro version of Desktop X allowed developers to export their widgets to standalone programs called gadgets. And now a little background on the Windows Sidebar Gadgets. Windows Sidebar Gadgets originated in a Microsoft research project called Sideshow, in the summer of 2000. It had many similarities with current desktop gadget software, and was used internally at Microsoft. Sidebar appeared in the Longhorn builds as early as September 2002. It got scrapped in mid-2004, during the reset of the Longhorn development. It was rebuilt and reappeared in builds of Vista in second half of 2005. So, how can we sum this up? 1999. Verona Desktop Enhancer is released. Summer 2000. Microsoft has a project called Sideshow. August 2000, first beta of Desktop X is released. September 2002. The Microsoft project Sideshow evolves to Sidebar. February 2003, Confabulator is released. October 2003. Desktop X lets you export your widgets to standalone programs called gadgets. Mid-2004, Sidebar in Longhorn Vista gets scrapped. November 2004, Confabulator for Windows is released. April 2005, Tiger is released and has dashboard with widgets. June 2005, Confabulator is bought by Yahoo! and is now freeware. Second half of 2005, Sidebar in Longhorn Vista is back. Was widgets Apple's innovation? Apparently not, unless you count the mini programs from 1984 as widgets. Were they the first to make it an integrated part of their OS? Yes. They were. Did Microsoft copy Apple? I don't think so. They were just slow to make widgets a part of their OS. Why they called them gadgets, you'd have to ask someone at Microsoft. And now to Spotlight. In June 2004, Steve Jobs announced that the next release of OS X would have a feature called Spotlight. As mentioned, Tiger was released April 29, 2005. Spotlight was one of the new features. It indexes your hard drive, and keeps a record of your files. If you search for a keyword, it will show you the file's emails that contain that keyword in the file name or in the file's content. Windows Vista has a similar search function, and again the Mac evangelists cried, Copy! 
and if you go back in time, you would see that Spotlight has roots as far back as the Sherlock Search tool in Mac OS 8.5, released in October 1998. But the concept has roots further back than that, and T4.0, released in 1996 had a service called Windows Indexing Service. It was also available in later Windows NT operating systems, like Windows 2000 and Windows XP. However, they were turned off by default. The origins of this service go back to a Microsoft project called Cairo. Cairo was a project that developed a lot of new technologies for use in Microsoft operating systems. The project started in 1991 and ended in 1996. The user interface of Windows 95 was based on development in the Cairo project. Another thing that came out of the Cairo project was something called Object File System. It morphed into WinFS, which stands for Windows Future Storage. It would allow indexing files and have search capability just like Spotlight. It was intended to be a part of Vista and was included in build 4501 of the Longhorn Vista in 2003. But it suffered from significant performance issues. And in August 2004 Microsoft announced that WinFS would not be a standard feature in Vista, but it would be available as a downloadable update for those who wanted it. In October 2003, Bill Gates spoke about Index Desktop Search at the Professional Developers Conference. October 14, 2004, Google releases Google Desktop Search as a beta. In May 2005, Microsoft released Windows Desktop Search after five months of beta testing. Accusations were that Apple had copied Windows Desktop Search and implemented it in Tiger. Apple did go public and said that Spotlight had been in the work for several years. And they hadn't copied it. In 2006, Microsoft cancelled WinFS. So, to sum this up. 1991 to 1996. The Microsoft Project Cairo developed several technologies for their future operating systems. 1996. Anti 4.0 is released, and has an indexing service with search capability. All later Microsoft operating systems has this service, but it is turned off by default. 2003. WinFS, with index search capability is included in build 4501 of the Longhorn Vista. 2003. Bill Gates talks about WinFS and index searching, and how it is the future. June 2004. Steve Jobs announces that Spotlight will come in the next release of OS X. October 2004. Google releases a beta of Google Desktop Search. April 29, 2005. OS 10.4 is released with Spotlight. May 2005. Windows Desktop Search is released. 2006. Microsoft cancel WinFS due to performance issues. January 2007. Vista is released with index searching. Apple fans cry, copy. Looking back, did Apple invent indexed file searching? No. Did Microsoft copy Spotlight? No. Was Apple the first to incorporate an indexed file search? No. Was Apple the first to incorporate an indexed file search turned on by default? Yes. If anything, my impression is that Apple did see the potential of indexed file searching when Microsoft already had it but stupidly didn't have it enabled in the operating system by default. So as I see it, Apple actually copied Microsoft. When it comes to other features in OS X and Windows Vista, like the calendar and photo gallery, I would have to say that none of them are copies. Calendars are bound to end up similar, since we have 12 months and 365 days in a calendar year. Not too many ways to make a user interface for a calendar. I've seen lots of different calendar software since I started with computers in 97. And they all look more or less the same. If you mean that Windows Photo Gallery is a clone of iPhoto, I suggest you take a look at Picasso and the software called ACDC. I started using ACDC back in 97. And the later versions do have a resemblance to Picasso, iPhoto and Windows Photo Gallery. But I would hardly call them copies. There are lots of different photo gallery software, and they all follow the same basics. An area with a folder tree to navigate, and an area with thumbnails to view your images. Copies? No. Hope you enjoyed this, and keep in mind, I did not make this video to make one company look bad compared to another. It's just to show you that there are more than one side to a story. Have a nice day.